Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add sound to your game. Now, I know this is one of the favorite things to request in class. How do I add sound effects? Like, my timidity has not been because I don't think they're important. It's that I don't quite understand. I have a system that works. I think it's going to be outdated, actually. I'm getting these weird error messages from an upgraded version of Eclipse. But it works. And I understand the basics, but there are a couple parts of it I don't understand, which was why I was... Uh, hesitant to teach it to you. But we're going to edit the game panel class, so we're going to create a new method in the game panel class for playing sounds. And we're just going to call it public void play sound. And we're going to give, this method is going to need a string, which is going to be the sound location. So sound file. Like we, it's, it's going to be the where it is and what its name is so that the method knows how to find it. And then we're going to also send it an int times. Now, like how many times to play the sound. Okay, so that's the basic method. Now, uh, when we're working with files, we always use these things called try catch blocks. Just in case the there's an error with the file uh, or whatever is happening, um, uh, we, we don't want the computer to crash. We want to say, hey, I know that we're working with files and there might be issues. I I, can, I acknowledge that. I just I want to know about them. I want it, but I don't want you to crash. So, there are three uh, errors when you're working with audio files. One is an unsupported, and these are kind of long. Unsupported audio file exception. Uh, now, Java doesn't work with MP3s. It only works with AIF files, WAV files. Um, there are a couple others, but I usually use those two. And I use GarageBand to convert things to an AIF file. So I can show you how to do that if you don't know in class. So that's called a UAE, unex Unsupported Audio File Exception, UAE. And when we catch that UAE, we just want to print out system.out.println UAE. Like, what is the message? What is the error that we're generating? So we'll need to probably import Onyx. Yeah, we have to import that file, which is fine. So import the uh, library that controls the audio file exception. Remove catch clause. Uh, what? Replace catch clause with throws. Uh, I think that's just an issue that we haven't like added other things. So. Um, yeah, okay, so let's just add the try block, and then I'll add the exceptions. <clears throat> so we need to add, uh, use an object called a URL. Now, this is just a uniform resource locator object. It just is a way to point the computer towards a resource. So we're just going to call this sound location. And we're just going to say this is a new URL, and you have to pass the URL a string, which in our case is the sound file. This is going to be the string that is like the location on disk of our resource that we want to use. Um, okay, and now, this is one of the parts that I don't really understand. Audio, it, we have to use this um, object called an audio input stream, and I'm just going to call it audio, equals audio input, or audio system dot get audio input stream audio input stream and we need this to be a, our URL so this is sound location so this is a tool throw stickler. So now they're going to aggregate us for not adding the throw, the catch throw things. Okay, so catch audio input, and now we need to catch some other stuff. So we're going to catch um, an I.O., an input-output exception. And we're going to call this I.O.E., in, uh, input-output exception. And this also, we're just going to say system.out.println I.O.E. So like, what is the error? Uh, then we're also going to catch the final one is called a line unavailable exception. Line unavailable uh, exception. And line unavailable exception, LUA. 
And same thing here, we're going to just do system.out.println LUA so that we know what the exception is if it's thrown, that it's being thrown. So we're going to import those two exception handlers. Yep. Uh, good. Oh, why is this angry now? Remove catch clause. What? Um, catch line unavailable LUA. No, I don't think so. Not yet. Um, <clears throat> and now finally to play our sound, we need this thing called a clip, which is just a string, like a bunch of data that is, um, so we're going to say clip named clip equals audio system dot get clip. Now, I don't know really what this does. I think that it's the equivalent of the graphics tool in, uh, you know, when you're dealing with graphics 2D and stuff. So I think what we just did here is associate the clip with our current audio system and say that's where I want you to play it. So, but I'm not un entirely sure. And this is why I hesitated to even show you this stuff. I know it works, but I'm not quite sure on the details. So now we need to say clip.open. And we're going to have it open this audio input stream. And remember, this thing called audio is the audio input stream that is like holding the data that is our sound file. So we're going to say clip.openaudio. And then clip.loop times. So that's why we passed in times, because we can loop sound files. And then clip.start. And <clears throat> that should do it. Now, we have to have some resources to actually uh, play a file, but that's the basic method um, for playing sound. And now, uh, let me see if I can grab a resource really quickly and actually get it playing for you. So that'll do in the next video, because I don't want you to have to watch me go get a resource file. Okay.